guys for one day time you're here. Before you start, make sure you check out my warm up stretches video and afterwards, warm down stretches. Two very different things it's dynamic stretching and static stretching. These training drills are my creation of a combination of Kung Fu styles, including Shaolin, Tiger, Snake. You will gain strength, power, balance, coordination, uh, flexibility, lose weight, you tone up, and you'll improve your fitness levels. Also, you'll be learning actual practical martial arts techniques. See, most of these moves are a reaction to a punch, or a chop, or a kick, and followed by a retaliation technique. So, being a martial arts instructor, I want to make this training video as practical as possible for you. The next day after performing this training, you'll probably wake up with sore muscles from your neck to your back, to your shoulders, arms, core, your legs, down to your feet. A complete whole body workout. Even if you go, even if you go to the gym many times a week, and you might think, oh, I'm not gonna get sore muscles anymore, I'm used to it, and you'll be surprised because this training, you're, you're, you're training each muscle at all different angles, and you're also activating smaller muscles between the bigger muscles, which are usually used for stabilization, but you're not using when you're at the gym working one particular angle. So, Okay, we're going to start with a very traditional Kung Fu exercise and this is designed to help you draw power from your hips and your body into your punch. So you're going to draw your fist back to your hips, make sure your legs are strong and you're going to draw power from that back foot, from that back leg, up through the hips into the punch. Make sure you're exhaling every time you punch for all of these techniques. Hold your breath. Again, strong stance and fist back to the hips with each punch, making sure you're planted firmly with the ground. Exhaling with each punch back straight. Different angle. Fists to the hips. Going down into a very deep horse stance. Trying to keep your back straight, going up to one foot and flicking that kick. That's a kick to the groin. Very fast, just a flick. Making sure you go deep down into that whole stance between kicks. And the same thing except finishing with a punch. Try both sides. Make sure you pause the video in between and, and practice it and do a few rounds before continuing. So strike, second strike. Try not to hyperextend your arms when you punch. You always want them to be just slightly bent at the end. Never fully extended. That can damage ligaments. This will take some practice, but start slowly. See that second punch is simultaneous with that first kick. Mm. 
here's a kicking combination high rise kick left turning kick right turning kick high rise kick so your high rise kick your foot is pivoted 45 degrees and the kick's coming through striking the jaw of the opponent whereas the turning kicks are striking the side of the head and your standing foot is pivoting nearly 180 degrees both sides and you can add a double low and high turning kick for the people more advanced who want to give it a go okay down into horse stance not a traditional kung fu exercise up and downwards block Making that block very powerful, using lots of force, exhaling with each strike or block. Now it's a chop followed by a punch. Try to keep your back straight during these exercises. Ready? Powerful movements. Keeping your legs strong. Horse stance again now. Just a kicking combination. Turning kick followed by back kick. So down to horse stance. A finishing position will land you in a routine. Two sets backwards and forwards again. It's really good for balance as well. It'll take a lot of practice. Alright, this one's even better for balance. So you have jab cross, simultaneous block and punch, and now it's a reaching punch, balance on one leg, and then a swooping crane back into guard. Again. Jab cross, simultaneous block and punch. It's a reaching strike. And crane out, out two stance. Practice that slowly first. Note the foot positioning. That's how you're going to get your balance. Blocking with the forearm, circling around to a double fist strike. Making sure your legs are strong, planted with the ground, well balanced. Once you get the hang of it, you can go fast. Okay, you got two blocks. You're blocking incoming kicks from, a, from an imaginary opponent. So he's kicking the left, and he's kicking the right. You're blocking them, then you're retaliating with a kick, and then you got a, a block followed with a back fist in the same motion. So block, block, kick, block, and back fist. I want you to imagine a war. First part is protecting your head, second part is protecting your midsection, and the third part is your leg which you hold strong. This acts as a barrier to shield against a turning kick from your opponent. Takes a bit of practice, start slowly, making sure your stance is strong, your arms are strong, and you're meeting the force with force. Now we turn it, so as we impact with the, the kick, at that very moment you turn it over into a grab, so you're controlling the kick. You're controlling
controlling his leg. And then with your other leg, you're sweeping out his standing foot so he falls on the ground. It's a takedown move, this one. Catch the kick, grab, hold onto the leg and kick out the, the standing leg. Block, grab the opponent's arm by the wrist and then strike with a side kick under his armpit. Good one for reflex. Make sure your foot positioning is correct. I'm gonna turn your foot slightly when you're launching that side kick. Make it a chop, ideally to the throat, to the neck. And a few back fists into a ready stance. So chop, your high back fists, and you're going low, mid, and high back fists, and then back in a stance. Chop. Start slowly, then you can work with speed. Here we go, Tiger. Like a low stance, just I want this to be powerful. A very low stance. Feel the power and your chi. Again, the other side, very low, very strong and powerful movements. Exhaling deeply. A bit of tiger block, which is very similar to standard block for a punch or kick by using a tiger claw followed by a strike tiger claw clawing the face gouging the eyes and then back into that low stance very powerful movement remember focus your energy your chi from the other side same movement it's good to practice both sides Left foot forward and right foot forward. It's a block, followed by a push kick, jumping inside kick, and then side kick, spinning side kick. It's a bit tricky, so take a bit of practice. Let's start slow, one movement at a time. Try the other side. Block and a strike, and then a strike back fist downwards. Start slow, and now we go fast. Be powerful, go down low with that strike. Other side. Start slowly. By your hips, feet together, and off we go. Side kick, outside kick, and then jumping inside kick. So the inside kick is with the inside of your foot striking to the head, the outside foot is the outside of your foot striking to the head. Inside, outside, spinning, jumping, inside. Other side, inside, outside, spinning, jumping, inside. See how that's the inside of the foot that lands in that final one. So take a bit of practice, go slowly. When you're ready, you can get fast. Back in the back of the long 
very long, deep, kung fu stance there. Okay, using a snake block, and then two snake strikes to the eyes, and then crouching down to a backward strike. So block, two strikes, backward strike. Make sure your fingers are very strong and stiff to strike the eyes. Advancing palm followed by a block and an upwards palm to the jaw and then side kick to the head. Advancing palm, block and upwards palm, side kick to the head. Here's from the other side. Upwards palm, side kick. Train regularly guys. This will take a bit of practice, but uh, through practice, consistent practice you will get your technique. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.